To find the last two digits of such a big number, the underlying concept is that to find the last two digits, one needs to multiply the last two digits of all the terms. Since multiplying all the two-digit numbers will be cumbersome, you will always find a catch. The catch in this question is the friendly numbers 20 and 25. So see, if you multiply 25 and 20 first, we get a double zero at the end, and then double zero multiplied by all the other last two digits, 87, 79, 47, 77, would be double zero only. So the answer is going to be double zero in this one. Find the last two digits of this one now. So what friendly numbers do you see? 42 and 15. So spot 42 and 15. Multiply these first. You get 630. And once you have got one zero here, you know that the last digit is going to be zero. 42 has been taken. 15 has been taken. You have a zero at the end. So these two removed and only three remains. So now, if we find out the last digit of all the remaining terms, we will effectively get the second last digit. So 9. 9 times 7 equals 63. So 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. So 3. 3 times 9 equals 27. And don't forget this 3. 27 means 7. So 7 times 3, which is 21. We have 1 as the answer here. Okay. So 10. Or the way I did it here. I caught hold of 3 here. 3 times 9 equals 27. And then 7, 1, 9 together. So this is 27 times 63. The penultimate digit turns out to be 1, and we had 0 as the last digit anyway. So the last two digits are 10. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.